people in the offices sometimes. And you can still steal from them. And they will not care at all. Actually. Mm. No. Yeah. I wish the AI would do something about this because a lot of the times people are just really detached about what they're actually patrolling. Uh, so this guy uh, sees me coming out of the vent, he doesn't really care and that's something that I think should have been done better or different. Let's just close the door and start hacking. Yeah. Who is actually saying this? Was it one of these guys or was it him? I have no clue. But um, I'll just taste the fuck out of him. Because now nobody can screw us over anymore. I think we can just hack everything now. Ah, uh, that's the problem. The camera is actually going rampage about it. No, I'm gonna go back. So, <laughs> this is the big problem here. Um, <laughs> you need to, to avoid being seen. So I'll just take the vent for now and um, see what I can do later on. So here's the office we want to get into. Here's the vent. Well, I'll still taste this guy. There is another way, actually. Uh, some of these people have these pocket secretaries. And. The codes here are actually the codes to the offices. So, with a little luck, we actually have the code now. Yeah, six, zero, six, no, six, five. No need for hacking. Money. And let's get the evidence. And you'll see, whenever it's something like important, story related, um, the hacking goes down to just level 1, which is a little annoying because... Um, what? No. Oh no, come on. I am leaving. Just to get them and then we can leave with the van. Okay. Well, the thing is, why is it staying on one? I know it's critical to the story in certain ways, but is it that critical to, you know, have everyone be able to do it? Uh, that you just keep it on, on level one? Why? That's not needed, in my opinion. I mean, when you reach Hangsha or the other big city hubs you should have your hacking up to at least three four maybe even five um, because there's just nothing else you really need to do so there's no point in in keeping your hacking skills down i will spare you all the other terminal hacking i will just complete this mission then go back to hacking and um, before i start the, the next main mission so we'll be fine now there's two more things that I'm gonna do. Um, I'll get the main mission done, which is in the morgue, right here. Are you supposed to be here, sir? I thought the station had been locked down. And once we're done with this, then I will get to the storage locker. Once again, he doesn't care whether we use the vent or not.
Campbell's doing an autopsy on that John Doe they brought in earlier. Morgue's off limits until he's through. Again? Hello? Hmm. Well, these dudes... Uh, these dudes actually care if you use the vent. Which is weird. But as far as I know, we can just walk through. Yep, we can. And weapon mods. I think we got all of them. Yeah, so you saw that these guys were actually checking it out when I went through the vent. But you can just enter their offices and steal everything. And then they will not care. <laughs> kind of a stupid AI thing that should not have been handled in this way. Hey, ladies. Well, they only have one bed, which is kind of... Hmm. Oh, who's there? They don't look too well. So, back into the morgue. About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bolt would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it. Other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet. And I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The hub's been detached, but I left it in the skull as ordered. Now if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. Um, for some weird reason, I... <laughs> I just always prefer to get rid of this guy. So, I'll not kill him this time, but I'll just shock him a little bit. And then I'll check out the PC as well. thing is the entire police force is somehow involved um, and it's kind of weird to realize that are you supposed to be here sir yeah, I thought the yeah. station had been locked down sorry for you what is in here I don't remember this well there's no way I can deal with the camera at the moment so I'll just leave and get to the evidence locker. Yeah. 
What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha. And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, metalhead? <laughs> I know you handled the critical evidence linked to the case, and I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. Strong words. You're a real poet. Tell me, is that how you plan to handle the judge when they prosecute you for perjury, possession, and intent to distribute? What the hell are you babbling about, Chrome Boy? Funny story. There's this guy, Blaine Lopez. Deals dope near City Airport. A real scumbag. You know him? Because I have a nice little chat record between him and you. So you want to go to jail? Or you want to tell me what I want to know? How the hell do you... <sighs> Shit, man. Now listen. I, I just did what was asked of me. I, I didn't have a choice. Talk. Okay, look. I just came in one morning and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business, but there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but mainly it shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. <laughs> from the oh, poor little Haas. Okay. So, we got what we wanted from him. And we'll get upstairs to the storage locker. Access grant. So this is one of the ways you can get out of the police station into the back alley that leads you to this kind of storage locker. Jensen, I have a message for you from one of your former colleagues, a Detective Alexander. Jenny, what did she want? She said she could use some help if you can make your way over to Grand River Road. And <coughs> might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. Just preparing for something. So let's get back in here. Even if you have the codes, uh, hacking is always better. Access grant. So this is the report on Megan. 